today I'm going to be giving you a little insight on what I learned after I made my YouTube channel. I have my tablet here to basically read off my notes because I'm not a genius. I have to look off my notes. My first thing that I, I learned after making like a hundred and something subscriber, um, you want to be monetized. To be monetized, you need a thousand subscribers and a thousand watch hours to be monetized. Without being monetized, you won't be able to be paid for your videos. And monet being monetized means that it allows other companies to basically put ads involved in your videos and you make money each time those ads are viewed by anybody who's viewing your video. Uh, I did not know that. Um, I thought it was going to be a nice, quick, easy process in making money off of YouTube. That is not true as well. It's basically like you have to really take, take your time and be patient with building your channel. Your channel is going to build. It's going to grow as long as you're putting out content that people actually want to see. So be patient. Uh, that's part of one of the things that TikTokers don't tell you. That it takes a it takes a while for your channel to actually be able to build an audience. You have to build an audience before you actually become like up there in the subscribers. And I noticed like looking through all my videos and seeing all of the notes for each video, most of the time your views do not come from people who are subscribed to you. They come from people who are unsubscribed to you. So Mainly if you thinking that, oh, I have to have a lot of subscribers to get a lot of views. Most of your views are not coming from people who are subscribed to your channel. They're actually coming from people who are not subscribed to your channel. Also, you need to know that it's, it's, it's a lot of work maintaining a YouTube channel. It, it looks like it's so easy when people get up on in front of their camera and just talk to you. And it, it seems easy, but it's not. It's a, lo it's a lot of editing, it's a lot of hours that goes into each video that is created. And I didn't know that, but I'm learning that over time, as I get subscribers, I'm learning more to connect with my YouTube, to my subscribers and try to see what, what interests them. What do they want to learn? And that's what you have to do. You have to try to see what is people trying to get out of watching your video because that is what they're trying to get. They're trying to understand, okay, he wants me to watch his video, but why do I need to watch this video? What am I getting out of spending 10, 10, 20 minutes on watching one video? What am I getting out of that? So you have to keep that in mind. Most of your video, oh, another thing I learned too. You may think, oh, I got a 20 minute video. Let me post this and it's going to help me get my watch time up. That is not true as well. Most of the time, if your video is over six minutes, most of the time people would watch those six minutes and click off if you don't even really work work hard to get, their, get your content to catch their attention throughout the whole video. So most of the time they watch the six minutes and click off and go to someone else's video that they also do the same thing. It's like you really have to have a, a video that's going to show a lot of entrance. Like you have to grab people's attention. It's like if you go to the movies and, and you watch six minutes of the movie and then after those six minutes it start going downhill and it's so boring and quiet, no, no action in it. Are you going to sit there and you're going to keep watching the movie or are you going move on to the next thing. It's the same thing you have to think about when you make your YouTube channel. You have to try to get content that most people will really, really sit there and watch over time. Uh, you also have to try to connect with your, your, your subscribers. Like, ask them questions. What kind of videos do you want me to post? What kind of stuff do you want to see? That's how you get a lot of subscribers as well. You have to try to connect with the people. You can't just say, oh, 
I'm a big time subscribe, uh, big time YouTuber. I'm gonna get subscribers regardless. It don't work that way. You really have to connect with the people who are subscribing to you. They are the ones that like, they make it like a family. So it's like they want to see what's going on. They want to see how you feeling today. How what's going on with your day today? It's like you really got to ask so many questions. Try to connect with the people so that you can get your subscribers. So you can get your watch hours. Um, I also learned that you really got to try to make videos on mostly co most common search things. So if you're sitting there making a video on, um, let's say something that's more into your interest and then no one really searches it, now you, you done wasted all that time in trying to make those videos and no one's watching it. So now you just wasted time. And you don't get the views, you don't get the subscribers that you're expecting. But you really got to put a lot of work. That's why I say it's a lot of work with maintaining a YouTube channel. I started off as well not knowing these things. I, I just thought I was going to get on YouTube and it was going to just be glamorous. I was going to be the next big time YouTuber, but it wasn't so. Um, I have a couple of subscribers, yes, but I'm still trying to grow even higher. Uh you're another big thing that grabs a lot of people's attention, and I didn't know when I first started, you have to have a big, nice thumbnail. Your thumbnail grabs people's attention before they even click your video. If it's a dry and uncommon thumbnail video, a thumbnail on your video, most people won't even click it because they're like, hmm, if they didn't take enough time to edit their Thumbnail, why should I take my time out to try to watch their video? And as a YouTuber, I do the same thing. I go by the entrance of, oh, it says how to create your YouTube channel and grow it fast. Those are the videos I click on so I can speak by experience and pay a lot of mind to anything that you don't even take a lot of time out of your, out of your day to make. So if you want people really to watch your videos, make nice thumbnails, make them presentable, make them eye-catching, and that's how you get people to view your videos. Uh, keep in mind when you're making your video as well, it's like a, it's, it's new, it's like a newborn baby. So you're not going to expect your baby to be jumping rope as soon as it come out. No, what you expect is you're gonna have the the baby's gonna come out. It's gonna cry. It's gonna it's gonna be downhill for you. It's like because it's something new to you. But over time, it's gonna start crawling. Then it's gonna start crawling. Then it's gonna it's gonna start crawling. Then it's gonna start walking. Then it's gonna start eating. Then it's school. Then you know it's gonna start being more independent. And it's gonna keep growing and keep growing. So, but you have to put that dedication. You have to put that patience into your YouTube your YouTube channel. You cannot expect something just to grow out of nowhere. You really have to put in a lot of work if you want your YouTube channel to grow. I did not know these things in the beginning when I made my YouTube channel. So I'm coming to y'all now to give y'all what I didn't know when I first started off. And I hope this video was very helpful to y'all. I hope that y'all can take notes from what y'all learned from this video and be able to make, make more content of your own and be able to grow your channel as well as I'm growing mine. I thank y'all for whoever made it to this point of the video. I appreciate you. I hope that you liked this video. Turn on that bell, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and share this to other friends. Try to get other people to see this video as well. If, you, if it helped you, it may help them as well. They might be in the same situation as you trying to grow your channel as well as I grow my channel. I'm just trying to help.
like I did with my TikTok channel. I, I tried to help people. As I grew, I wanted other people to grow. And that's really what I'm trying to do with this YouTube channel too. As well as I grow my channel, I'm trying to help other people grow their channel. So I hope this was very helpful to y'all. I wish I'd have known this when I first started my YouTube channel. And I'm, help, I'm thankful that I'm able to give it to y'all now that I do know it. So y'all have a good day. Appreciate, ascribe, subscribe to the channel, like this like this video and turn on that notification for the next banger to come out. Peace.